How's it going, everyone? Kim Blattooth here. So today I'm going to throw a game at you, which I enjoyed. Um, hopefully my opponent enjoyed it. I hope you will enjoy it. But about a month ago, a bit of context here. About a month ago on Reddit or Discord, I can't remember which, there was a conversation happening where someone was saying how he felt like streamers in general uh, of Gwent, they're very negative to their opponent. You know, they put them down, stuff like that. And I, I can kind of see where he's coming from. Um, but I, I don't think it's that clear, cut and dry, to be honest. I don't think many of many people mean to be quite um, de put down worthy. But um, the thing is, it's easier to say issues, you know, that was a misplay or that was a mistake. Um, but hopefully they identify the mistakes in their own play as well. I think some streamers do. But it's also a lot harder to, see, to make compliments for streamers. And I think that's one thing that person from the conversation was noting on really streamers don't really make compliments to their opponent very often and i think the reason behind that is is that they stream for a long time so they've seen a lot of stuff so if someone plays like yoahim into a big strength minion and it kills something it's not really compliment worthy because we've seen that now we expect uh large tempo plays from certain factions and certain cards um iris is no longer oh man that's so cool um, because it's it's a given nowadays to actually get some sort of reaction out of a stream a positive one you'd have to play something really unusual um possibly make a really good uh, you know uh, prediction or guess and make a really good high iq play um to just really get this oh that was a really cool thing to do well done that type of reaction but the reason i'm talking about all this it does have a point it's because I think the game that I'm going to show you does demonstrate when streamers can actually give compliments to the opponent and, you know, give them accolades for things they're doing and, uh, you know, show their appreciation. And, you know, rightfully so. Well done to my opponent in this particular game. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I uh, hope he did too. Hope you will. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to be doing my contest. I, I need to do a video for it and then I'll announce it on here as well. But it'll be a card contest and I'll give prizes um, to the winner. And it'll be, I think Strollen, if he's here, he helped me sort of like plan out the rules. Basically, you create three cards maximum, up to three cards, not including tokens. So if you need tokens, then you can add them in. Um, for an archetype that I choose. So, so if... Uh, Semph was to join. Obviously, I could say a soldier archetype. And just for you. We'd do it, of course. I'm in no mood for jests. Naivety is a fool's quest. Hmm. This is going to be a fright now. This is a big play that I've seen before. Correct crones. Oh, we needed to get more excited about that. That was a 10 strength card. Go straight into there, so it's Siri Dash. Kill, maim, destroy! Bet you're gonna make us do curse. No, be deprived. Be deprived. No. Make ancient foglets good. No one enters the competition. There's a Siri Dash monster deck. I'm I'm determined not to pass straight away. I need 21. I need 22 points. Fuck. All right. So that's for Necka safety, probably. The time for blabbering is past. <laughs> Gels. Oh wow, okay. He's going for loads of Siri dashes. Probably. He's probably going to put Siri dash next to that guy. Yeah. Nice one. I might not be able to stop it, honestly. That's pretty cool. And then he's probably got Royal Decree to finish it off. What is it? 
Probably got another one. I mean, it's not like it's hard to get. Okay, that one. The mother goddess, she'd give up and take it away. Kill, may, destroy! Nice, interesting. I like it. So, Ice Mentha. You're, you're good in my books. I like it. That's very really cool. Oh, I wonder if you'll pull that 12. Treble 12. 8. 9. 10. 11. 12. Oh, shit. Okay. The only way I can actually save from a Gel Igni by playing this, I think. <laughs> you ever seen an Igni? I mean, he's played three golds now, right? Has he? Yeah, three golds. I know what three of his golds are. One could be Geralt Igni, or it could be Royal Decree. Royal Decree makes sense because he wants to get it out of his deck. But I don't want to risk it. It's very unlikely he has Igni. I'm absolutely, I agree. Um, but he's threatening. Now, I don't really want to lose the round when he's got an Ekimara there. But that is quite a big power play. I have to make a choice. Do that. I don't know how I feel about it. Three 11s. Very unlikely. I've, I'm, I'm actually growing in confidence right now, actually. I'm growing in confidence. He hasn't got Geralt Igni because he's going to have Royal Decree. Yeah. Alright. I feel safe. <laughs> feel absolutely safe. No chance. Alright, cool. Okay, what's he eating then? I wonder if he's going to plop a Necker down. Who's the courage to fight the, the Bill Carls, eh? When Siri hits the board, he'll eat it and adrenaline rush it. Hmm. Coral. We can coral the Necker. Or we can coral this, the thing. I mean... I don't think... I mean, eating the Necker is a possibility. You say pass, but I think if I lose this round, which he might be able to do with that, let me just check. That's five. Um, six, seven, eight, nine. And, it'll, like, twelve. I'll get him to seventy. plus nine. I don't think I can just pass, actually. You've got the heart. The I don't think pass was the right option. Charles, eh? I'd love an adrenaline rush on him, though. I'd, I'd love to be able to dictate the next round, you know? I'm in no mood for jests. He may have absolutely disagreed, and I think it was overkill, but again, if I didn't, I think he could do it in one card. And I didn't want to be in this situation where he had 15 and I had 4. So I, it was overkill, but I feel like it was it was alright. Um, bam. Um, not this round. That'd be weird now. And then, well. I have no spy in the deck. Well, I just didn't like it. I'd always hate playing it. Right, that's good. Let's get rid of that then. Okay, good stuff. These silvers. Enough. Oh, he got it in hand. 
monkey man. So he's going to eat it again and then royal decree it, probably. Modern Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. I like this. We're struggling with this one. I think we've probably lost, honestly. I do like it. I can do a great deal more for you. Uh, that's his last necker, so no. Eating the necker won't do anything. He's only got three neckers. And he's already used two. Right, we're going to place this guy down and intend not to actually kill it. Wilfred, get up! Wilfred! We don't really care about that. We've only got one Berserker Marauder and he'll pull that. <laughs> well, he's not cursed, is he? Oh, wait. Has it got to be a unit? It is gotta be a unit. That gotta be a unit. Why it is a unit. should I help you? Right, hopefully he spends one on eating that. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Good for me. going for? Nothing of mine is... What in doing that out of interest? What do you need? Has he got some massive game plan that I'm not aware of? I'm going to put premium down. <laughs> right. One card. What could that possibly... Oh, okay. That's like 19. A fucking well played though, seriously. I can't say it enough. That is amazingly cool. I mean, all it needs is now Fringilla. <laughs> all it needs is Fringilla. Look at that. The, the year of the Fran is certainly here. I think he won the moral victory there, totally. I mean, I hope that guy comes in. I want to praise that guy. I mean, it could very well be a net deck, but I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, and he's... That was seriously cool. I don't like Siri Dash. I think she sucks, but he used it really well. And, you know, it's a deck that I haven't really saw before. I like it. So, pr absolute props to him. Really enjoyed that. Um, even if I'd have lost, I would have said, you know, absolute well done to him. 